in situaties terecht dat je denkt. We're from New Zealand, hey, having a look around. Ah, oké. Okay. Dus dat is weer een nieuwe mast. En dat duurt een En hier on holiday. Yes, hier. Uh, this is uh, sem salmon, salmon. Yes. It's, um, how do you call it? Serrano ham. Mm. And dille. We call it dille in Holland. Yes. bij Frankrijk in de buurt. And then we um, and make on the yeah. fire. And then. Ja, dat is een beetje een nadeel, laat ik het zo zeggen. Put it. See, they put dill in it, babe. She's telling me she put dill in it. Beautiful rocket makes. Come on out to the Arnhem Moor Museum just to get a, a bigger uh, oversight of the catastrophe that happened here on the Arnhem River way back in 1944.
telling you everything is a private collection and the owner started collecting uh, when he was a small boy. Mm -hmm. And growing up here in Arnhem, the war material was just littered in the woods here. Only the difference is uh, he took everything home and his friends put everything back in the woods after playing. Mm -hmm. um, everything you see here is original wartime material collected by one man. Mm -hmm. And um, every vehicle that you see in this room is in running condition, except for the two in the back over there, the mm -hmm. old Auto Union, an old Audi on the left, mm -hmm. and that's an old Opel uh, Olympia that's not in running condition. The other vehicles are and uh, are restored together with the owner and the volunteers here in the museum. Mm -hmm. We drive them all, uh, a lot during parades and uh, liberation days here in Arnhem, as well as the bigger guns and uh, the cannons you see in the back there are all restored together with the volunteers. The German officers were stationed here. They also had about 500 uh, Russian POWs in the backyard, which they used to construct multiple bunkers. Uh, the largest of which would be the uh, Diogenes bunker, which is also very close to here. And uh, normally, I would tell you to, uh, I would recommend you to visit it after visiting the museum. But unfortunately, uh, foliage has uh, has risen, and uh, you can only see a tiny little corner of it uh, today. But uh, uh, in uh, Hall One, we'll uh, we'll we'll talk a bit more about that uh, that particular bunker. Um, what happened to those Russians after the construction of those bunkers was completed? Uh, there are no official reports about, uh, about it, but uh, a war cemetery not far from here does contain a whole lot of Russian crosses, so we can mm -hmm. uh, connect those dots ourselves. Um, after those Russians went missing, um, there was also uh, the, the 10th SS Panzer Division who, uh, who was stationed here. They retreated from Normandy and were at rest, um, and they also played a, played a major part during Operation Market Garden. Well, at least the infantry made a made made a, uh, made a big difference during the made big big impact during the operation. The tanks themselves couldn't really get to where they needed to be because there was so much rubble in the road. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, w w when one of those rounds the corner, it's not like you're gonna wait and uh, and and mm -hmm. see what it's going to uh, going to do. So uh, well, they did they did make life quite miserable for those guys around the bridge, of course. Mm -hmm. But uh, also, Mark Regard, we'll get back to that in. Uh, um, after the after we, w we were liberated, the building was turned back into an elementary school again, until about 24 years ago when the owner bought the building and uh, housed the museum in here. He uh, he's been collecting, you could say, since he was eight when he uh, when mm. he got home uh, with with a live hand grenade. For some strange reason, mother wasn't too fond of that, but uh, <laughs> that's where he. It doesn't. It doesn't even contain explosive material inside. No. It's represented by the block of wood, and Whoa. it also is missing the the, the enormous shell casing. Uh, the white right 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 So and this one's been in the ground for a couple of years. But just look at this one. It has, still has razor sharp oh, edges yeah, on it. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah. Shrapnel was mm. pieces of shrapnel flying through. Um, but they also had those Panzer Faust Panzer uh, uh, armor fists. Mm -hmm. in, uh, so they were just a bigger version of their stick grenade, the hand grenade, weren't they? Well, the explosive. Um, the, the bridge Kiev, the Panzer Faust, yeah. the Panzer, Panzer Shack, Panzer Faust. Yes. Uh, but uh, for me, it's an idea. Just, uh, just, uh, just stick a, a copper uh, on one side yeah. and uh, the fire from about the reach of magazine. Bit better, I think, to uh, to start the, the story from its uh, beginning. Uh, this, this hall is dedicated to Operation Martyrdom. 